Good morning, June 1, 22. Yes, we have the QQQ on a 15-minute chart, and it's breaking out on the opening bell. So we're trading the Q calls, and we featured those call contracts on the triple Qs back over here on dailystockcharts.com, and we did. On 526, triple Qs, calls, busting higher, and we started buying them, and we did. And not only that, we bought many things, because if you go back here and load more videos, which you can do on the website, you're going to see where we were buying the SPY right here, bull trend. Look at that bull. Look at that trend we call. And that's where we started buying. And we did. And we're letting those winners run as we are. There are the Q calls right there, busting higher. Okay, now, having said that, how to let these winners run when they sold the market off dramatically dailystockcharts.com trading volatility so once again we're still in the queues and we're going to take a look and see how far this summer rally from the uh, lows where we showed you where we called the bottom and we did and it's on the channel and then right now we're taking our traders through these bottoms so that they can understand how to let those winners run. And that's exactly what we're doing with those folks with big positions. Once again, the QQQ bull market is full in swing. The market's been open 15 minutes, and we wanted to go over that opening bell live right now. You can join our live trading room and that you can. Now, when you're on the YouTube channel, subscribe to the channel. If you want to leave a comment, leave a comment. That's relative to a stock you're looking at or indexes or ETFs or Bitcoin or any of it. Um, I'll be happy to answer you, okay? Because at the end of the day, it's all about how the price action, volume, price action, up volume versus down volume. It tells us how to let us stay in the trade and how to let the winners run. And they will pull back and they will have volatility. But if you sold out too early, you wouldn't be getting the big move. Everybody doesn't know when to sell. They never do. We use pure mathematics in all of our trading. And our trading applications that we own and build will go ahead and lead you down the highway to success with your trading, and that it will. Let us not forget that free five-day trial program. Leave comments. Subscribe to the channel. We're here. We're experts after 35 years. If you have a question, I'll be happy to answer you, and that I will. We're going to let the QQQ calls that we bought on... 526 and we're gonna let him run and yesterday they pulled back after they made their highs they're going to make highs and then they're going to pull back trading the triple Q's and letting the triple Q's run without getting out and not selling out down here or the little blur not selling out here it was a consolidation. There's the trend channel. There's the positive bar off of the low. 15-minute chart in play. And there's the high on the opening bell, trading the triple Qs. Let us power your trading today. And let us not forget one thing. It's all about you. Just go ahead. Leave comments. Email me. That's fine. Right now, we're going through the live trading with that opening bell, how to let the winners run. Now, remember, when the Qs puts in its high off of the open, it will pull back. Don't get shaken out of your trades, everybody. So I'm telling all our traders how to let the traders understand how to let the winner run. And letting that winner run is going to get you more what? More gains. So we can see right here, we're pushing up to that 312.50, okay? If I go back and take a look, 
at a daily chart, I'm coming right up to a breaking point right there. We called the bottom right here is where we started buying the triple Qs. We've gotten one from the doji. That's a doji. There's the follow through. There's the big follow through. And here's the follow through right to resistance on the Qs. Resistance. What does it mean? Oh, it's very simple. It means that prices hit a wall and they'll pull back before making new higher highs. So we can see right over here on the date of 5.5, everybody, that that low was 3.09. Okay, so we look to understand that that's going to be the support level on 5.5, that low of 3.09. So if we're going to buy the dip, we're going to go back and we're going to take a look at that 3.09 area and then we're that wall of resistance trading the Qs. We're going to still stay in the Qs. They could pull back even a dollar. They did yesterday. The volatility was running up and down. But it is the opening bell with new traders on how to let the winners run.